All right, March 24th, 2021, uh, Intermediate 3 from 9 to 10 p.m. Uh, wrapping up Unit 5 and taking a look at the final test. Um, that is the idea for today. So uh, this is day 15. Um, tomorrow is our final day, day 16. Jesse, how are Hello, you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Excellent, Jesse. Excellent, because uh, it will finish the week. No, 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 for this. Excellent, because next week is vacation. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And the week, yes. the week, yes, also, but on Sunday, begin the party. <laughs> uh, okay, that's so good. <laughs> and you, Jesse, are you going to do anything in the vacation? Mm, maybe I will visit my my family. My family lives mm, not far from my house. It's another house. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I don't have idea where I can go uh, in vac on vacation because. Mm, uh, when you go out, you need to a lot of money, especially if you have a kid. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And this is a reason I prefer to be in my home and prepare something for my family. We eat together and just that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is a this is one of the the I guess it's not, I guess it's not exactly a problem, but this is one of the difficult parts of going yes, out. Yes, of course, but uh, uh, but uh, it depends. It depends on my in my, in my case and uh, my children. Uh, they don't used to ask me for something. Mom, I want to eat this. I want to eat this on the street. No, but uh, the situation is maybe it's a pandemic. In my yeah. case, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in my case, if I um, if I get them uh, out, uh, the, the situation is better for me. It's better for me, and we can be in a peace uh, because it's difficult. I don't know if one day we um, get the illness. I hope no. I hope. I hope. Uh, don't get, but I hope won't get it, Berta. I hope. Pero I hope, I we, hope won't. I won't get? Mm -hmm. I, I hope won't get it uh, because it's so sad. I don't know. Um, I hear other people, that I, other people, their family got these illnesses, but the situation was difficult for them. And I say, oh, so sad. I hope won't get it yeah yeah you're right and if for some people it's very difficult and their their families suffer a lot and they have a lot of problems and for other people is they have the disease but it's no problem so mm -hmm. it's it's difficult because you don't know your body until you have the disease you don't know if you are the person lucky and ah, it's no problem or no, you're, I, mm -hmm. Go ahead, Jesse. But some people say that the illness is affect the people have illnesses in their body already. Mm -hmm. In my case, I consider that I am a, I am a good um, health. In my case, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, I don't like to waste. I don't like to waste if. Um, my body support or not no i i prefer to stay at home yeah okay good idea is is better is better because if you don't know hey, hey, hey is why <laughs> why take the chance mm -hmm. yes of course yeah 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 okay all right janice Luis, joel gentlemen how are you Hi, teacher. Good Hello, good evening.
Everybody's okay today? Have a good day? Yeah, it has, it has been a busy day, but yeah, we're good. I'm good. Okay, all right. So pretty busy, but we're, we're making sure we're, we're doing good, right? Okay, well, um, today we're gonna be taking a look at our final exam, making sure that it's clear and finishing up the last part of the unit. And just, we wanna make sure that there are no questions, no, uh, no doubts about any of the, the parts of the platform. Yesterday we advanced a little bit. I know we, most groups were able to complete the review of unit one, two, some groups unit three. Um, today we're gonna start off with a little bit of reading, which is the final part of unit five. I'm going to explain the test for those that are maybe are watching it in YouTube at home or for you if you haven't completed or things like that, okay? And, and then we're going, if we have time left over, then we'll go back and review and make sure that uh, there are no questions. All right? So let me start by, I think the best would be sharing my screen. Hang on, let me... Let me get this going. All right, so here we're gonna start off with a bit of reading, okay? And here we have Ask Amy. Have you ever seen this, uh, have you ever seen this program or this thing where people write to the newspaper uh, and where the people write about it or uh, they, they ask for opinions and recommendations. No, nobody has ever seen that. Uh huh. Uh, I have seen I have seen it, but just in movies, in in USA mm -hmm. mostly. Yeah. Okay. But in, 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 in Spanish and in, for example, in my country, I haven't seen any new paper doing that. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. I, I don't think the newspaper uh, do this anymore. Before I was very popular um, and many people would ask for advice for uh, relationships or romantic or friendship or, you know, different situations. But now ah, the people don't don't even buy the newspaper so <laughs> uh, uh, many people ask a uh, psychology <laughs> that's yeah you're right there's 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 a part where sometimes it's uh, ask a psychologist or or fr oh, uh, friendship uh, friendship and friendship gave, gives advice a bad advice sometimes <laughs> yeah you're right you're right according to their necessity uh -huh. their opinion no yeah. opinion no no opinion for uh in black and white no uh, how do you say neutral 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 uh, 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 friendship don't give advice in neutral they always to be uh with you or with me it depends <laughs> How, uh, how is it the friendship? <laughs> you're right. You're right. In psychology, maybe it would be. Uh, uh, mm, no, I don't know, but I think that psychology here to you, and he or oh, she thinks she's crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know, teacher. <laughs> but I I have never visited a psychology. <laughs> Never. No, never, never. Mm -hmm. When I have problem, I prefer. Uh, how do you say doblar? Doblar. Doblar rodillas. Bend knees. Bend knees. My my knees and mm -hmm. give a pray. Pray. Make and a pray. pray. Ah, okay. Yes. And pray. Okay. That is a good. <laughs> well, well, for me, it's a good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. It's like a psychologist. It's the same thing. 
you, ah, okay. <laughs> because, because the idea is to communicate your problem and look for help. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. It doesn't matter if it's a letter. It doesn't matter if it's a, a psychologist, a friend, your mother, a god. The important is that you identify. I have a problem, yeah. and you identify. I need a way. I need an idea how to solve the problem. Yes, girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, and maybe I think that a psychology uh, always for a uh, uh, one therapy for fixing me. Or maybe he can, he. He, I need to pay him or she uh, uh, twenty-five dollars per hour. Wow, I think. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I think you're right. I mean, 20, you. Yeah, you. I, I mm -hmm. think so. I think, I think it's. I, I don't know. I don't know how much it is, but I, I imagine it's something like this: twenty dollars per hour. Um, I, I don't Maybe. know. Maybe minimum. Because minimum. they are professional. Minimum ten dollars per hour. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe they are very professional, professional like this. But I always I answer, I answer, I answer. Uh, uh, my opinion is psychology doesn't have problem or they have problem. What can what can do they? What, what can uh, what they, they do? What can they do for this situation? I don't know. It's very stranger. <laughs> yeah, they go to the psychologist too. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, of course, of course. All right. Well, let's. We're going to read this article and try to identify what are the recommendations or opinions um, to the concerns to to the problems that these people have. So we're going to take turns. There are four. Let's see. I think. I think we have four people, right? Uh, Rodrigo, Denise, Joel, and Jesse. All right, yeah. So let's begin. Uh, Jesse, can you please read uh, the first, the first part? This one right here. Okay. Uh, dear Amy, someone told me that my brother's girlfriend was dating another guy. I felt I should let my brother know. And after I did, he decided to confront her with the story. They had a terrible argument. And although they denied the rumor, they broke up. Now it's turned out that the rumor wasn't true. And my brother isn't speaking to me. Okay. Are there any words you don't understand? Let me tell you, this is a part that I broke out my, my hair for many times, but I, I couldn't understand very well. The first, second, three, four times <laughs> that I mentioned before in the last, last day, day days ago, I think. Mm -hmm. No, for now, I understand. Okay, all right. All right, the next one, uh, here in the bottom, uh, Joel. Yes. Um, Zir, you're making it too easy for him to stay where he is. Be firm and tell him he has two moms to find a job and get his own place. He's old enough to take care of, of himself, but you have to be willing to let him go. Uh, teacher, I yes. think this is this is uh, mix up. It because is. Because this, this answer is not from the paragraph Jesse was uh, reading. You are correct. They are mixed up. Right? Yes. Yeah. That's okay. right. That's right. That's right. Joel, are there any words or anything you don't understand from there? Um, no, teacher. I'm good. Thanks. Okay. All right. Uh, Luis, can you read the next one? Okay. Uh, dear Amy, my son is 23 years old. Uh, he finished college last year, but he can't seem to find a job he likes. He still lives at home, and I am worried 
that he's not trying hard enough to get a job and support himself. Meanwhile, I've been cooking his meals and doing in laundry, his laundry. Okay, good. Are there any words you don't understand? Mm. No, teacher. No, teacher. No. It's okay. All right. Teacher, what, what mean is still? He is still light. At he, home. Still, he still lives at home means he continues to live at home. Still is continue. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and the next part, the last, then I, I think that's uh, that's you, right, Dennis? Sorry, what, teacher? Uh, the, the next part here? Yes. Can you read, Dennis? I can't remember. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. no problem. Um, hold on, I need my glass. Okay. Okay. Dear, I would suggest you keep quiet. Let them work things out for themselves. If you say something, you could damage your friendships with both of them. Amy. Okay. Any words you don't know, Dennis? Oh, uh, I would suggest you keep quiet. There be nothing over there. Them, them, themselves, maybe? It, themselves is the two people or are, are the people alone without any help. So they need to work out things for themselves is they need to work by alone, not with the assistance of someone else. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, Jesse, can you read the next one? Uh, dear Amy, I went to the movies with my best friend and her younger brother. She wasn't feeling well, so after a while, he drove me home. While we were driving, he told me he had skipped school that day, taking his mother's cars and gone to the beach. My dilemma is, should I tell my friend about this? Okay. Um, the Anything? word that I, mm -hmm. see, yes, the word that I don't know is skip. It's a, uh, is skip school is the idea is not attend school or not go to school. This is skipped. And it's the same for work. For example, I skipped work. I didn't go to work. I didn't attend work. And skip to work? No, no, no. Not skip to. Skipped. Mm -hmm. Si yo quiero decir no quiero ir a la escuela, skip to work. No, no. No, no, no. Skip, eh, si no quiero ir al trabajo, skip work. Skip work. Mm -hmm. mm. But it's not I don't want to go to work. This is I didn't go to work. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Luis, can you read the next part? Okay. Dear, you should have thought out more careful before you acted. It wasn't necessary to get um, Next time, the child immediately and warn him not to do it again. Thank you, Luis. Any words you don't know? Um, no teacher, no teacher. Okay. All right, all right, perfect. And the last one, Joel, can you read the last part? Yeah, um, Azir, well, you learned a lesson. You shouldn't have listened to gossip and you shouldn't have passed it on. Now you have to repair the damage. Apologize sincerely, Sincer sincerely. And hope he will forgive and forget, Amy. Okay. Any words? Um, no, not teacher. I'm good. Okay. 
So as gossip can, teacher. Gossip. What's the is, meaning gossip? Gossip. The meaning of gossip is when the people uh, talk about other people. For example, I say, ah, oh, did you know that Jesse has three boyfriends? And Rodrigo, I saw Rodrigo near La Avenida. I don't know what he was doing, but he was there. This is the gossip. Okay. This is the gossip. Wow, <laughs> like a Pinocchio, right? Like a Pinocchio. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, DJ. You're welcome. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other words? Yes, I have one. Okay. Uh, for example, on the second uh, part, mm -hmm. Strauss sister, I forgot, uh, but you have to be willing. Willing is willing is apostar. No, 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 no. Willing, let's see uh, here. And in the Strauss sister, right? To be willing. Uh -huh. Okay. That means that you have to want to do this. Okay. So when you say I am willing is I want to, to do it. For example, uh -huh. to, to learn English, you have to be willing to learn English. You have to want to, to learn English right there. I have to be willing effort. Yes, I have to be willing is you have to make the effort. You have to okay. want and make the effort. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? Yes, I, I have one. In the first paragraph, this trow, sister. What is what is this trow? This, this ah, trow. This trow is um it means that you are very sad, you are broken, you are in a very very bad emotionally. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I found in, in I found in Google in traductor it says uh, este desorientada. No. Como alocada. No. Uh, kind of like, like like a little bit like crazy. Yes, but this trot is not crazy cuckoo. It, it is that you are very. <laughs> uh huh. Is this trot is that you are. Como confundida. Mm, no. no, 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 not at all. Uh, distraught is, for example, uh, maybe my mother died and I don't know what to do. Confused in this way. This is the distraught. It's okay? Yes, okay. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Yes, okay. All right. So we see we have quite a bit of, of reading and information and, and things um, that, and, um, and that's part of our, uh, sorry, not 5.9. It's actually part of the uh, 5.10, right? So we did the reading and then you need to uh, look at the vocabulary and choose the correct one. Um, now I'm going to explain a little bit the exam in case you haven't done it or for those that are watching the, the videos on YouTube um, from work or from other place because they can't come. Um, there are four parts to the exam. And we, like the typical, we have a reading, uh, we have listening, writing, reading parts. The first part, the listening part, is four questions. We can see. We have four questions from the listening. Uh, there's a couple ways that I, I think is a good technique to do. And the technique for I think is good for you is first read the questions, the four questions, first read, then listen to the conversation and answer the questions. Then listen again and check your answers. So the idea is you listen two times. That way you are clear that your decision is the correct one or you make the best decision. Okay. So that, this is the idea. Read, listen, 
answer and listen again okay that makes it better for you that's the first part the listening and the second part is only choosing the correct a word or phrase to complete the conversation. I say conversation because it's not a sentence. If you see number one has A and B, number two has A and B, the same for number three. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's clear, that you read that it's just a sentence, but it's a small little conversation and you choose the best one to complete it. Uh, part C, it's rewriting the sentence. Uh, we have one example there that I did with the other group. And the idea was, how do you take it? So the sentence is not necessary in the same order. You have to put the sentence in the correct order, okay? This sentence is the original. You have to put in the correct order, but is unnecessary to use the words in parentheses. So in this situation, we have to change the complete sentence and we begin with the person. We have to put here, we can see, oops, sorry. We can see that we have, you have to, because we, it's necessary to use have to, it's in parentheses. You have to turn out the lights before you leave, okay? And that is rewriting the sentence. It's, Check the sentence and put in a different form. And it's necessary to do that for numbers two and three. Um, the final part, many people have told me that they have a little bit of difficulty because um, they have issues with the, with the article, okay? So there's a couple of things. You can try multiple choice and read and put what is logical for you, what you think is the correct to complete the sentence and if also um, you can guess which one, but tomorrow if they don't fix in uh, if they don't fix in the platform tomorrow, I give the answer in the class. So don't worry about Part D. That um, if they don't fix or if they do tomorrow, we can we can check the answers here. Okay. So I don't know if anybody has any. Any questions or any comments at this moment? Me, me, no teacher. No. Okay. Anybody else? Any, any questions or comments? It's clear to me, teacher. Thanks. Okay. No teacher. No question. Um, I don't finish the platform, but now I understand the, the, the answer and the five period 10, I understand okay. teacher. Okay, good, good, okay. So remember for if, if you haven't finished the platform, really um, practically you need to finish today because tomorrow is the last day. And you can finish tomorrow, but tomorrow it, it closes the, the platform at 12 o'clock, finish. So if you don't finish um, tomorrow, it's not like you can continue on Friday or Saturday or other days. It's, it's necessary to have everything complete. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think it's not, uh, maybe you only have a few exercises left to complete, right? It's not that you have to do uh, many, many parts of the, the platform. So maybe it's possible to complete tonight or uh, tomorrow uh, with a little bit of time and effort. Anybody else? Yeah. Yes. I finished the platform today in the afternoon, but I didn't do the last part because uh, it said the same thing that uh, you watched that you see mm -hmm. and i left then okay. Así lo dejé. yeah 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 that's Mañana okay lo con usted. exactly that's what i said perfect because they they tried to fix and uh the office told me that yes they fixed but 
when I check, mm, no, it's not fixed. It's not, it's not correct. So uh, it's good that also you had the same experience. Um, and we'll try, uh, like I said, if the, if the office doesn't fix, it's no problem. I give you, we do the here in class and we can do it together. Okay. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. For that part, part D, that's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, great. So in this moment, if, uh, well, sorry, a anybody else have any questions before we continue to the next activity? No? No, no questions. All right. Okay. Perfect. Now we can have time to talk and practice and speak and, you know, work on our fluency. So what we want to do in one of the most difficult parts, probably from this, uh, this unit is the conditional sentences. I think this is usually the more difficult, uh, using the conditionals correctly, using the perfect tenses correctly. This is usually the, uh, where we need more practice. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make two groups. And in that groups, we're going to practice. We're going to give opinions, recommendations for different situations. What is the difference between an opinion and a conditional sentence? In an opinion, you only give your idea, your recommendation. I say, Jesse, you should go to the beach with the children. This is my opinion, right? Or my, my recommendation, I think, right? And that's it. But in a conditional sentence, I give the situation. Ah, if you have time, you should go to the beach. Right? That's in the present. If I want to make in the past, that's where we use the perfect. If I want to make the sentence in the past, I use the word have. Uh, if you, okay, if you had or uh, gone to the beach, Okay, you would have a good time. You would have seen uh, a clown. You would have uh, gotten burned. Okay, whatever it is. So the difference is when we use have, it's in the past. When we only use should, could, would, and the verb is in the present. So I say, Luis, um, Luis has $1,000. Hey, Luis. You could go on vacation, or you should save money, or I, I would uh, pay the the rent, for example. Okay, that is my. Those are the ones that we use for suggestions and opinions. In conditionals, we give the situations. If I had money, if I found one thousand dollars, okay, I would. Okay, and then your situation. I would buy uh, a TV. I would have gone to the beach. Depends if it's present or past. Remember, in past is have, in present, only the verb. I would, you should, or you could, and then the verb. Go, go buy, eat, uh, read, whatever you want. So the idea is we're gonna make two partners and we're just going to try different situations. We're going to tell our partners our problems uh, or, or problems in general, not necessarily our problems, right? And the idea is to practice giving opinions, recommendations, suggestions. We're going to try one example together as a group, okay? I, I, my Spanish is bad. My Spanish is not very good. I want to improve my Spanish. Tell me, how can uh. I improve my Spanish? Mm -hmm. um, you should, you okay. should practice more your Spanish. Okay. And you will go to uh, academy for Spanish. Okay. Thank you, Jesse. Now you see, this is the difference. Jesse gave her opinion. You should practice more your Spanish. Now, if Jesse wanted to make a conditional sentence, she would give the situation. If you want to improve your Spanish, that is the con now, if I want to do this, then what? Uh, if you want to improve your Spanish, you should practice every day or you should practice more. That is the only difference between an opinion and a conditional. The conditional gives you 
the situation and the consequence, like the cause and the effect. And in the opinion, it's only the effect, only what you think. Eh, quiero ver si sí, si sí entendí cuando vaya a dar yo una 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 opinión uh -huh. yo tengo que usar el condicional o sea no no voy no. A, 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 no 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 eh, por, ejemplo, oh. por ejemplo yo le tengo que decir a usted if you can improve your Spanish uh -huh. your, your Spanish uh -huh. you will o solo puedo decir you would or you should or you can go so, eh, son diferentes eh, tu opinión, lo que es tu opinión, solo es you should, o, o tu mm -hmm. opinión o recomendación, you should, eh, or you could, ok, or uh, would. Normalmente el would no lo usas con you would, lo usas con I would, yo haría esto, I would. El should y el could es normalmente para la otra persona. Luis, you should, Luis, you could. Pero cuando usas el cuando would, use yo el, y el, cuando use yo el if, ahí es la es condición. Que, si esto pasa, deberías hacer esto. Pudieras ah, hacer esto. Es wow. posible. O sea, eso es la diferencia entre una opinión y un condicional. Ay, ahí está lo que quería saber. Uh -huh. Bye. Ah, pues sí, ya, 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 capté. Ya. Es que, ajá, lo estaba usando, pero todavía ahí en la luna. Sí. <risa> eh, entonces, eh, por ejemplo, eh, digamos que no tengo hijos, ¿ok? Pero doy la opinión. Si querés hijos inteligentes, esa es la situación. ¿Cuál es la opinión? Deberías, ta, ta, ta. Podrías ta, hacer esto. Y eso es, ahí es la condición. Ahí es cuando usamos la diferencia entre should, could y would. Acuérdense, would is the, the decision. I would. This is my decision. ¿Ok? Could is no decision, is possibility, is possible. This is one option. And should is the recommendation. So would, decision. Could, possibility. And should, recommendation. It's okay, just. It is okay. Okay, Thank you. all right. Dennis, Luis, Joel, is it okay? Yes, teacher. All clear. Okay, let's make our groups and let's practice. Remember, you give problems to your partner. You give situations to your partner. And your partner gives the opinion, recommendation, or suggestion. It's their idea. If the partner wants to say, you should. If your partner wants to say, you could. Or your partner say, I, I would. Okay. That is the idea. So let's make our groups and let's practice the different fluency and all of these recommendations, suggestions, and conditionals. Denise. Hello, Jesse. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Um, I say the same thing. I'm good. Nice. Uh, what about your English? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, um, it's getting better. Okay. My recommendation for you is if you <laughs> want to speak English more easy or more frequently, you should practice every day. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's what I need. Yes. Yes, I know. Uh, for example, in my case, I love to, I would like to speak French. But I don't know. French? Yes, I would like to speak French, but I don't. You, you, you can, uh, can you speak French? No, I don't speak French. I cannot speak French, but I have idea. Um, but 
Yes, if I want to speak French, I will go to academy or I will practice. Yeah, uh, like like as um, Alianza Francesa, for example. Yes, but Alianza Francesa is mm, it's expensive. It's expensive. Yeah. I think that is mm, is less expensive at San US. <laughs> it costs mm. thirty dollars. Dollars per month, uh, but in my case, I don't have money for pay it now. But <laughs> later, maybe. Yeah. Uh, you you need more money? No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I need maybe you, to finish. You, you should uh, you should try to sell. Um, I don't know uh, things around you in your house that uh, you don't use. You know? <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, I, I think maybe later in the future, I I will take I will take a a, a course French course because I love to. Mm -hmm. And now. And much. I should. I should. I should. I should study. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, if you want to be healthy, you should uh, cook healthy food. Excellent, thank you. Um, let me see. Um, if you, if you, if you want a, uh, if you want a uh, life uh, healthy, do you want it uh, healthy too? If you should want, if you should eat healthy. Uh, can you repeat it one more time? I didn't uh, get. It. Okay. If you if you want a uh, life healthy. If you should, no, you should yeah. eat, eat, yeah. and drink healthy yeah. too. Yeah, that's yeah, that's basically true. Um, if you want to be a professional swimmer, you have to take. Uh, how do you say? You should you should take um, uh, swimming classes. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. If you want a professional museum, you should uh, uh, go to the academy, the music. Can you repeat it one more time, please? If you want a professional yeah. museum. You should uh, go to the academy music. Oh yeah, I, I I get it now. A musician. Musician. A musician. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see. Um, if you want to live a long life. You shouldn't buy a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And let me see if you want a. Uh, like, uh, uh, it's like a uh, Portuguese, uh, French, Italian, you know, romantic okay. language. My suggestion for you is you should learn in this language because if uh, so, you can you 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 yeah. can speak with your wife. Uh, uh, when your wife uh, uh, is talking by phone, you know ah. Uh, oh, she, mon amour, she's, mon amour. <laughs> she speak yeah, with <laughs> her friend. Yeah. <laughs> you should practice with her with with her. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe you you should take a course of, 
of uh, French, maybe, of course. Yes, yes, I will do. I will do because I will do when I finish this call because I have a lot of vocabulary about it, but I don't have, I cannot yeah, but, do conversation. Uh, you can, you can uh, spell any tense in French? Um, yes, I, <laughs> yes, I can do that, but I don't okay, know, if maybe me. it will probably. Say it. Okay. Um, well. I don't know if my teacher, uh, give me permission, teacher. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, bon nuit. Bon nuit. My name, bo, no, sorry. Bon nuit. I'm at Jess. Javit El Salvador. Je ne parle français. Je ne parle français. But je me, je adore or je écoute français. Something like that. <laughs> Only words. Yeah, <laughs> very nice. Very Maybe nice. later. <laughs> yeah. Nice. It's pretty good. Yes. Uh, um. Well, uh, for me, language is a beautiful uh, tool in yeah. this day. Yeah, I know. For working. I, I know. Um, one guy, uh, German. Uh, by the way, is <laughs> a, a German uh, human? <laughs> I don't know how do you say. It's Alemán. Only German. That's it. It's just German. German. Mm -hmm. Only German. Yeah, I know uh, one German, and uh, he know five language. Five language. Yeah. He is he a. Speak, uh, he speak uh, Germany like a native language, English like a native, and learn um, Italian and Portu Portuguese. How do you say Portuguese in English? Portuguese. 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 Yeah. Yeah. You know Portuguese. <laughs> wow. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, and and uh, he learned Spanish, Spanish with your your girlfriend here in El Salvador. That sounds good. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, when people speak more three languages or four languages, they call some, ¿Cómo se llaman, teacher? Uh, pol pol yes, that's right. Algo así se llama, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Maybe I think that they are my or they yeah. are her. Oh, it's very confused yeah, it's a, when they when they learn. Freaking intelligent. Yeah, he, he is a software architect, you know, and uh, they he he um, speak five language, know about computer, about the software develop, and. Uh, I don't know. This this guy is amazing. He's, maybe he, maybe he was my my he was my tutor. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, he was my tutor oh. in my fierce um, professional work. I think that these people maybe they don't spend uh, a lot of time in different things like yeah. me, for example. I watching TV. I prefer to watch TV. I prefer to watch yeah, soap opera. You, you, you <laughs> okay. no, you maybe watch uh, more TV. You yes. shouldn't uh, watch more TV. Uh, Yes, maybe, I should. Maybe you, you, you should practice more uh, more French, you know? Yes, of course. <laughs> no, I need to practice. No, even though I am in, uh, I am in Facebook, on Facebook, and uh, if... Lo harías? Like, if you have the willing to, the willing to, to do that, would you do it? Lo harías? I don't know. That, that, that's how I, I translate it, the would like the willing mm, okay like for example i would i would do that this coming weekend yes lo haré este fin de semana que viene that's the ah, way okay. I, that's the way i i understand would okay okay thank you yeah 
but the teacher the teacher is in this room right now so if you have any doubt you can ask him right teacher that's right mm -hmm. he was asking about the using of wood to be more clear yeah so wood is more uh, you make a decision right and many times people think of it like the the um, like the past of will okay like i will go to the movies i will go to the beach is in the future and yeah. many people many people say oh the past is wood um but in english it's not exactly the past because wood is a model so wood the idea is that is this is the decision you make even if it's not true even if you are not planning the future you are imagining um so you are thinking okay um uh, uh, Luis has, a, you know, Luis, I don't know, Luis has $100 and you say, ah, Luis, me, I would, and then your opinion, this is my decision. If I had $100, I would, that's what we use would is for what you decide to do. Yes. Okay. 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 Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Your wife. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, she she don't practice anymore. She doesn't. She does. Okay. She she doesn't. Uh, she doesn't. She doesn't practice, any, she doesn't practice anymore. Okay. Later. <laughs> <laughs> Later, uh, you tell you tell her you should practice with me or you should teach me yeah uh, she um, so she, she uh, learned in, uh, English in in the university but um, she doesn't practice ah, okay the reason is because she is very easy. And she's yeah. she's yeah. tired too. Uh, uh, is compre How do you say uh, comprensible, teacher? Understanding. Uh, it's understanding the situation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Nice. We have a lot of conversation about Good everything. Conversation. Yeah, using um, I. Teacher. Word, yes. Should, could, uh how many languages do you speak <gasps> wow i i speak Tell us. i speak well two languages um english and spanish but <laughs> <laughs> i can speak spanish very well <laughs> mm -hmm. but, okay but uh, i studied uh, four languages i studied uh portuguese and i studied uh mandarin Mandarin. Wow. 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 Mandarin is very difficult, I think. Yes, it is. It is very difficult. And that's why I didn't continue because um, I think Mandarin is completely different than the other languages because in Mandarin is tones. It's all. Uh, it's Do you all, like it? No. no I, I, yes, but no. I, I, I like, I would like to learn, but to be honest, I don't have the ability that uh, you need like a musical ear to to hear the difference for mm -hmm. for example when they say ah I uh, think uh, 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 because the three is three different words so for example I think that's a mandarin go ahead Jesse, I go think ahead. that ma I think mandarin is becomes too crazy <laughs> it is. yeah yeah so for example I say ma and I say ma yeah. And ma is mama, is, is a mom, right? But ma is a horse. So, you, and, and the language has five tones, five. So one word, so for example, one word ma can have five pronunciations. The problem is that the five pronunciations are five different words. This is the problem. Wow. Yes. It's no, not, it's not like Spanish. In Spanish, you don't say correctly the word. Uh, 
playa, playa, playa. But the people understand. In Mandarin, you don't say correct. It's a different word. Mm. Sí, es que quizá vamos a la gana hasta para hablar el español también. Uh -huh. so, yes. Very difficult. Yeah. No, very difficult. No, I think that my, my life is no <laughs> gave me opportunity to speak uh, two languages. Maybe only Spanish, only English. Maybe le a little more French. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So, no. nice. Uh huh. So for me, similar. They, they, I, I studied a few more languages. Like I said, I studied uh, Portuguese a little bit. Uh, and I studied. Uh, no, I studied. I, I learned. I heard a few words in Russian, or you know, um, Russian. Yes, or or French. But it's only because uh, is you learn you like uh, for example to speak with the hands for example i can say a b c you it's not that i is not that i study but i learn because it is part of the environment i i see on tv or i watch the programs for the russian i always see the same things like da da is yes and niet is no and the little things but so i don't know the languages Yeah. That's that's the difference because Spanish and English, you know the language, you know the words, you can have a conversation, and the others, for yeah. example, I I think Jesse and you, Dennis, Portuguese, yeah. you don't have to study, you you know Spanish, so if you listen carefully, you have an idea. Maybe the yes. problem, maybe the problem is speaking, uh, for example, uh, and you don't say. Uh, you don't say I don't know hablar or speak. You say uh, for falar. Uh, you, it, it's just different words. Some some Hola. words are different, right? Hola. Mm -hmm. So there are some different words uh, that are, are are a little bit different. But in general, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. those and Mandarin. Uh, I I remember I I studied like maybe six months and then I say nah, this is too too difficult <laughs> for me. Uh, and I, I only yeah I, I know a little bit about uh, Japanese for example because I I, I like uh, anime mm -hmm. and I I hear a lot Japanese in my life you see yeah and, and the same that when when you watch movies if you watch a lot of movies or series or shows it, if you like you watch a lot in that language and then you not necessarily you study but you yeah. understand you have an yes. idea yes mm -hmm. yeah for example uh, gomenasai or arigato mm -hmm. you know yes yeah. gomenasai is lo siento discúlpame mm -hmm. or, or i'm sorry gomenasai is like i'm sorry and um arigato gozaimas is is like uh thank you very much yeah Yeah, arigato. You should, They always say arigato. You should learn. Arigato mm -hmm. uh -huh. You could learn in this language when you finish uh, English. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I will. Yeah, 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 I will yeah. learn okay. Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go ahead. All right, let's go back. There we go. So. They said I left you. I'm yeah, sorry. it's okay. It's okay. No problem. No problem. So we that is pretty much the idea for our uh, final exam, the review, the speaking, making sure everybody completes the platform. Um, this is the most important. Remember, the, the, we need to make sure that you have 80 or more in the platform. And like I said, tomorrow, it's not a problem. If they don't fix the letter D, tomorrow I help you and I give you the answers and we review what is the correct for letter D, the reading exercise. Um, you can try because sometimes only from reading the sentence, you, you have an idea of what is logical, but if not, don't worry, okay? Okay, okay, okay. okay. thank you teacher. Yep. Thank you. Thank you guys. Hope you have a great night. And then uh, tomorrow, our last day, amazing, but <gasps> already finished four weeks. <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> we have party.
Tomorrow yeah, exactly. we have a party, teacher. Yes, in Jesse's house. Remember, remember that we go to Jesse's house. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. Je no. Jesse, Jesse. And no, teacher, put, my mouth you, is small. No, no, put the address in the chat. Are you going to have drinks, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very small, my house. It's okay. It's, the party is big. It's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, thank you. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. bye guys. Good, good night. Very nice. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.